What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we want to show you guys a little bit of another thing that we do. If you guys don't know, we actually build cars here for ourselves. So we don't do stuff for the average person, uh, but we have done a lot of cars for the shop and try to do something new each time each year. So it's been a couple years that we've actually built a car to this caliber of our latest car. And the reasoning for that is the last two cars, we just wanted to make something and build something that was just really functional. So nothing that was over the top that we couldn't take to the desert. Cause unfortunately when we build these cars that are, you know, pretty much next level, everything's done and touched and chromed or coated or whatever the case may be. Unfortunately, it's not the best to be able to take to the desert. So, because you don't really want to ruin a car that's done to that level at, at the desert. So that's why the last two cars were a little bit more of a mild build, if you will. So, but they're really nice cars, don't get me wrong. But they weren't to the level of what we're doing to this car and cars before that. So the last car was the Mint that we built. That car was really nice. Four seat Pro XP, HDR, long travel, you know, all the stuff, a cage, doors, wheels and tires. And then uh, at the same time, we actually built a drift car. So if you guys aren't familiar with that. Uh, we had a two seat drift car. There was a Razor Pro XP with HDR, long travel. We put a handbrake in that car. And this really made it fun. We took it out to a couple of events and stuff, and that car was really fun to drive. And because um, you could take this platform, you know, the Pro XP platform was even a good platform just to take, add some things to it and, and go out and have some fun. And that was kind of a cool concept because you had on-road and off-road all in the same car with a couple of bolt-ons and nothing really crazy. So those were the last two cars. And this car, you know, the Pro R, we were on the fence of, all right, do we build a two seater, a four seater? We knew we wanted to do something that was over the top because the cars before these cars were obviously that and, and that's kind of what we're known for. So we decided that the two seat platform was the best option for what we wanted. You know, we wanted to build something that was kind of nimble, you know, had the perfect wheelbase because the two seat platform is the happy medium. It's not too long, not too small. That's what we decided to do. So we started off with this brand new 2022 Pro R Polaris Razor. We took it and put our flavor on it and, and uh, we're here to show you guys. So without further ado, I want to introduce you guys to our brand new Polaris Razor Pro R build that we call Chaos. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause check out problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why. So this build's pretty much started off with a brand new 2022 Pro R. And we just pretty much took everything off the car. We have the arms um, that have been powder coated and then, you know, all the aftermarket parts. So springs and suspension, those kinds of things. So let's walk you through a little bit of each thing, starting from the front all the way to the back. Up front here, we did, so this actually has a stock Polaris upper control arm, lower control arm that we're getting done from HCR. And there's Elfie. What's our Elfie? Um, so we're so we actually are replacing these stock upper and lower control arms from HCR. We were waiting for the second generation kit, so that's coming up here at the next in the next video um, that we'll have that suspension on. But so those are actually stock, believe it or not. But everything else is aftermarket. So we have a Desert Works front bumper um, supporting the KC lights here up here, and even the KC lights we had uh, powder coated the rings to match the car. This centerpiece is actually chrome, so that doesn't come like that from the factory from KC, but these lights are really cool. They actually have a, um, a halo in here for like a driving light as an accident light. So that's pretty cool from them. Um, this is that Desert Works front bumper. Before we move on, actually, this is all stock up here. So this front end is all completely stock, but it's painted. I'm not sure how well you'd see in the camera, but it's actually painted. So 
a lot of the plastics that we actually have on the car from the factory stock, we actually had painted first. So that way when we wrap them, they're smooth, it looks finished and all the little detail stuff. All these bolts are all aftermarket. So going up to the front here, so we actually have springs from MTS. Uh, so it's resprung. We're actually gonna be getting it revalved by them here shortly. Uh, but we just ran out of time because everything was kind of last minute. So this is has their spring set up. So up here as well as all the stock sway bar. So the sway bar we actually had polished. Uh, this is actually all completely stock. It just looks looks different with the polish. So we have uh, HDR sway bar links as well as uh, ZRP tie rods. So yeah, we're gonna have the new ball joints with the new suspension once we get that on here. So so it has our carbon fiber hood from Four Works. This has their hood. We have the dash. We'll show you guys here shortly. And uh, I mean, even the detail of of the uh, antenna. So we have this antenna that's uh, pretty much a stock antenna we got from Amazon, had it powder coated and match. So kind of coming around here, I mean, we have metal effects, three piece wheels. So this is all polished. This center wheel is actually a different color than the outside. It's pretty hard to see, but there's three colors or two colors here with polish. So those wheels are really cool. They're light and adds to the car because wheels really can make or break a car. So up in here is the KC Cyclones. This is their rock light that you can actually interchange color and covers with. But this uh, bezel here, we actually had powder coated to match as well as everything. So, you know, the color looks consistent all the way through. Um, and then same thing over here. Lights are so bright, you're looking at them, it makes you go blind, that's how bright they are. But even in the light here, it's, they, you could still see them pretty well. So the KC lights are, are really nice so these so we powder coated the rings here to match and then they're just allen head that goes in this factory screw these are sector seven meters with their built-in lights so these side shoot going this way and they actually have a built-in marker light so since we're up here I'll show you guys this so it has this built-in it's actually a turn signal that we wired to be a marker light so that wires in with this stuff too like i was talking about with the accent lighting up here so it makes it pretty cool for you know little detail stuff so and then these shooting sideways just help give it that light when you're driving and you can't really see around the bend they shoot sideways to give it some more light and just help with overall perspective especially in the dunes when there's some blind corners and dark corners you can't really see that well so that helps pretty good with that stuff so um, moving on to the inside, so we have Desert Works doors that we had powder coated the frames here to, to match the existing roll cage. This is all Desert Works roll cage as well. And then we wrap the inside of these doors to match. So the car's a little, a little dusty still from Glamis, but um, we had Desert Works mount this KC light bar. Um, so they built these tabs here to mount this Pro 6 light bar and then same thing up here, we had these powder coated to match, so we took the rings apart and took the pretty much the KC lights apart and had these powder coated to match to add a little detail in there. So this, uh, these covers are factory covers you can get from KC. We just had the KC stickers that we made here, chrome to match. So add a little detail. I mean, that's what we do at the end of the day is graphics, but we want to you know, show little things, that, little detail stuff that, that we can do here at the shop. So since we're up here on the top, we had Axie Alloys uh, send us some, some parts and we wanted to, you know, add more detail to everyone's parts that were kind of involved. So these parts actually, we had all, everything chrome. So it comes in a couple colors, I believe from Axie. And it, and it looks really nice, but we wanted it to go over the top. So we had it completely chromed. Uh, all their parts and pieces are taken apart and chromed to just add to the car. So this uh, this up here, we had a bung welded up here for um, from Desert Works, so everything's really seamless. There's no clamps for that, just the clamps for the actual visors up here. So moving on to the dash, I mean, the dash was pretty much stock up here, but everything we had taken apart, so it's all painted to match so took the 
dash cluster apart. I mean, the steering wheel took that all apart. We even went to the extent of having the pedal powder coated. Um, these are all Rockford Fosgate speakers. We had the speaker grills painted from Valley Customs to match. Um, and SS Motorsports is actually the company that painted all this stuff as well as the whole fenders and everything like that. So, I mean, it adds a lot of detail to what's going on here. So up here in the center, this is something that really wanted to make the center stand out from the rest. And there's been some really nice center consoles, but I really like a center console that's simple. So it has all the functions and has all the parts that you need, but made it really simple. And, and uh, this is actually the four works dash here. So it's all four works, carbon fiber dash, the Viper shifter. Once again, we had these parts taken off and chrome. So this is chrome, the arms chrome, and this is powder coated to match. So this is the four works center console, switch rows, eight switch, switch pro system here. And we mounted a vertical and something here I wanted to keep really simple. So no other switches, no other nothing going on here, just the switch pros. Um, and then moving on to, to this. So this was something that was really challenging because this, these cars come with a switch that has toggles between modes. So there's three modes, it toggles between three modes and the switch is really chunky. So the switch itself is really locked into kind of like the dash up here. So it comes over here from the factory and that's something that it sticks out because it goes flush with this panel, but it sticks out. So when you mount it to a flat surface, it actually sticks out a lot. So this was the challenge. So we actually cut all those pieces out here and we had an idea for the center console here. So we actually called on a company to make something uh, specific for the center console. And uh, this is all the rugged billet mount that we actually had chrome to match. So this gives it a really simple look. I mean, this is there's nothing going on here. We actually hid the switch so that way it's still functional. You could still toggle through the modes, but it wasn't up here on the dash. When you look at it, it's just really simplistic. Uh, this is a carbon fiber bezel from 4Works as well. So this is 4Works here and 4Works down there. We actually make carbon fiber pieces that go up here, but we wanted to have those painted. So that way it wasn't just all carbon fiber. So we left those painted up there and then we had the carbon fiber down below. So it makes it really cool and really simple. So these are actually the Pro Armor seats that we had redone that Pro Armor made some custom seats for us. So same seat platform, just custom upholstery, um, their harnesses. And then they actually embroidered our name up here, which is really cool. So Pro Armor, if you guys, we've been getting a lot of questions on what seats those are. So if you guys have any questions on those, feel free to give us a call or DM. Um, but these are the Pro Armor seats that uh, they offer with custom upholstery. So moving on, let's go over here to the passenger side. Moving on over here. So this is actually the stock grab handle that comes factory. So we actually disassembled everything and had it all powder coated here to match. So everything is completely factory, but uh, removed all these pieces here and then had them uh, powder coated. So you have to actually pull some pins in the, in the back and it slides out. Pro Armor actually made this really cool um, leather piece to match. So that matches the seats, which really ties the interior together. It makes it really nice. Um, wanted to do something that when you come into the interior that it looks like a car. So it has a really cool fit and, fit and finish and um, it looks pretty luxurious too. So something that I think that interiors really make a car. I mean, we're going to the extent of doing all these little ads and pieces and bits and pieces of the car but I feel like interiors is important for these cars, especially because it's all open. You're exposed to everything that you could see. And uh, that's something that we wanted to do, especially the dash. I mean, that really makes the car from the interior perspective. Something really cool over here too is the Rockford Fosgate speakers. So these are all actually RGB. You can control pretty much any color that you want here. So it adds to the whole car. So you can make them blue, yellow, whatever you want for your car and that adds to the whole interior so not only does it sound good but you can actually change the color to match so it goes really well with the theme 
Speaking of speakers, so this has the Stage 5 Rockford system and it's these cars as you guys know come with a stereo and it's Rockford. But they make Rockford actually makes an upgraded kit for these cars so it has brand new speakers, upgraded speakers, a sub subwoofer in there. They have a couple different options. I mean, this thing once you have a stereo, it just changes the game. So during the speaker pods, we had Axie Alloys, these clamps actually made here to make it really simple and doesn't have a big bulky clamp. Axie Alloys mounts with their clamp set up, we had chromed as well. So let's go underneath here. So underneath is actually, these are the Cy KC Cyclone lights. Same thing as the front. These are the bezels here that we have powder coated with the white lights. So there's, I want to say there's close to 14 lights on this car from front to back and they're all the KC Cyclone lights. So I mean, there's, there's four up front, um, two underneath, and then it just goes on from there, you know, four inside. And we have, I want to say, I think it's six lights here just in the motor. So now that we've kind of covered the front half of the car and then, you know, this back section here, before we go to the back, I'll show you guys here the buggy whips whip that we have so this is their bright white their bright white buggy whips whip and this is kind of cool here the double light bar in the back so what you guys have been waiting for the motor i mean we've been getting a lot of questions on what you guys what you guys do for the exhaust so um the exhaust is actually dirty right now we actually haven't cleaned the car too well since glamis so show you guys here what it looks like after kind of burned in and stuff and uh gives a really cool color so let's move on to the back here so this is the evo stainless exhaust we had arp bolts that we put in here and this exhaust is actually all polished so we had this plate here chromed um, this exhaust being polished and stuff when it turned color it actually looks pretty cool almost looks like a kind of a gold color and uh, so some other detail stuff up here. Um, this is HDR sway bar link for the rear and this is stock up here. We actually had the stock sway bar link chromed. So it adds a little detail stuff. Same thing with MTS springs to help with ride height and make the car perform and handle really well, you know, as well as not just look good. So you can see a couple lights up there from KC that we had some custom light covers made from Dirt Direct Motorsports. So those are all flush mounts and as well as the KC highlights uh, light up here. This is all stock suspension here, the arms. But this is LMUTV's uh, tow rod bar that we had polished. So this is a billet bar that makes it really nice because those bars actually come you know with the they have a lot of slop and stuff in them this is a really positive setup with himes and and once again this level car we want all the right parts on it so this is from lmu tv they make really good stuff and they actually have a lot of billet stuff too so if you guys aren't familiar with them definitely check out their website check out all the stuff they have for their you know they have can-am polaris all this all the parts and most of these companies do they have multiple parts um, for multiple vehicles so you know i mentioned each company and there's so many partners involved but all these companies make parts for probably your vehicle so if you have can-am or polaris um, i'm sure they can help you out so let's move on here to the back so this is all painted as well this is actually stock plastics that we had painted and these are the tips from evo as well as the exhaust going up in there so you can they make different tips that you can put on we had these tips polished of course and once again another kc cyclone light with the chrome ring up here so this is all hcr plates here all pretty much all the powder coat is done by gas powder coating here local to us in simi valley minus the roll cage and some things that we got from desert works and full throttle powder coating so everything was just down to the wire we had to source somebody local to make it happen and, and we appreciate all everyone coming together because we had some stuff powder coated from somebody else and some stuff powder coated from a different company so both companies working together to make this possible from the time frame that we had because we came back from sand sports and we actually moved shops and then uh, we're building a car for uh, camp razor so it was only a month span between moving and all this stuff going on so 
appreciate all the companies working together to make all the parts match and make it possible to, to debut the car. So on the back here, these are all HDR radius rods that we had polished to match, you know, kind of go with the theme that gives the car a pretty mean look from the back. Another cool thing with the Rockford speakers over here. You know, once again, those speakers light up to match. So not only do they light up from the front from the speaker, but the back of the speaker actually lights up too, which makes it really cool. So something else really cool in the back of the car is this little plate. I mean, this side of the motor, passenger side of the motor, I know they call it the, the cold side, I believe. So there's a hot side, cold side for oil changes and that kind of thing. But there's a lot of plastic in the back. So we painted the piece up here to match and this is a chrome so it just adds a little detail because there's there's so much plastic going on here and there's not too much that you can do back here on this side so it just adds some detail so just trying to every little fit and finish on the car i mean even these bolts here i mean those are all powder coated once again and you know allen screws and stuff so just all the little details so if you guys have any questions at all feel free to send us a message, DM, and we can answer any questions. So I'm pretty sure that's most of the stuff we covered. If I missed anything, you guys want to see anything, definitely let, let us know. And uh, thank you guys again for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys here on the next video. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted, the phone and affection, I summon and double it, cause I got problems on problems on problems.